Hello, this is Linda at Grandma's Got Grace. Today I have for you a prophetic dream that I documented somewhere between 5 a.m. and 8 a.m. on December 17th, 2020. That timing is kind of interesting for me because usually that's about when I'm going to bed, not what I'm getting up. The dream. I was in a house that we were building. It was way out in the country and I got hurt. The injury seemed to be in the area of my right knee, as if a nail or a very large splinter had been driven into it. I was able to get into my car and drive to a town, directly to a huge hospital, park my car, and hobble inside. There were hardly any personnel inside, but the person who was behind the front desk took me to a large room with a bathroom, where there was a large tub filled with beautifully warm water. I gratefully sank into it, and before too long, a doctor came in. He got into the tub, which I thought was even more strange, but he had his surgery tools with him, so I figured, okay. No words were spoken at that point. Note, at no time was there any nudity. I didn't even think that way, but someone asked, so just clarifying. Then I realized his skin was blue. While I pondered that, he started cutting a hole at the side of my knee, but his knife slipped, and he also cut into his hand. As I watched, my blood flowed into the water, right where his blood flowed into the water. We both were alarmed, but as he looked at me, his skin turned pure white, and my knee was totally healed. Suddenly, his stoic face lit up joyfully, and he hugged me with so much love shining out from him, and thanked me over and over again profusely. He then helped me out of the tub, said I could go home, and that he had to go tell everyone what had happened. I was confused, but also joyful. I tried to check out of the hospital, but there wasn't anyone at the front desk, so I simply went back to my car. As I got in, I had to move a sleeping child to the back seat and scoot over a slightly older child who seemed to want to argue about everything. I had no idea where the children actually belonged, but it seemed okay to just leave with them in the car. I drove home where our house had miraculously been completed while I was gone, so I took the two little ones inside, though I never picked them up to do so, to see if anyone owned them. I know the fractious little girl was important, and there was something in the dream about her pulling out her hair, not all of it, just her grabbing handfuls as if to pull it out during her frustration. The little sleeping boy was still asleep peacefully once I was back in the house with them. As we entered the house, they were kind of just absorbed into it, and I began to wake up. I pondered the dream for a bit, and then realized I had to write it down, so I did. And now you've read or heard it. I also documented a set of nine ponderings on this page of my website. If you are interested in those, which are documented as observations and interpretations, you can go to the link at the top of the description, then scroll down to the first dividing line. In the third section, I posted the following. In summary, the whole dream portrays the very thing that others have been prophesying for some time now, with more urgency over the past few weeks. And that past few weeks was back at the time that I documented this. Now it is even more so. What God is showing us as Christians is that we are to be doing what he has called us to do, getting out of our I can do it myself, thank you very much, mold, and flowing his word out to this nation and beyond. He has been telling us, through prophecy, that we should not be worried about what can I do and where and how, because it is he who will direct us as we spend more and more time resting in and loving him. We are definitely in God's now time. Let's get with the program, people of God.